George, you talk a lot about you. You like talking to the millennials. Yeah. And yeah. my wife tells me I was born in the wrong century often. Because um, you're an old man? W- when I joined, well, that, but when I joined this company, I didn't have social media. I had a ringside seat to years and years and years of working alongside students and their parents and high school kids and college students. And I, I just, I knew, man, it's like hanging out with drug addicts. Like, I'm not going to do that. I remember when you started and they were like, yeah, no, John's not on the internet. I'm like, what, how, how does he exist? Yeah. And shockingly, um, I had a great job and, uh, was doing great professionally without this. Without sharing it to the world? Exactly. How is it possible? I was able to eat a meal all by myself without telling anybody about it. It was a lot of fun. Um, but this uh, Wall Street Journal article came out the other day. Facebook is some released internal documents. Facebook knows how toxic Instagram is for teenage girls. Um, one of the re- uh, released internal documents has things like we know we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls um instagram increases the rate of anxiety and depression these are from internally released facebook documents and if you don't know facebook owns instagram um among teens who reported suicidal thoughts 13 percent of british users six percent of american users trace the desire to take their own life to social media Awful. And here's the thing, I've got a fifth grade. I, I've got a sixth grader now, but last year in fifth grade, um, just at a local public school, my son came home one day, head held low. Dad, I'm the only kid in fifth grade that doesn't have TikTok, that doesn't have social media. And I sat him down and said, "Son, I've been telling you for years that your parents are weird, and that this day would come, and I'm sorry. Um, I I know that that makes you the odd kid in class." It turns out he wasn't. It turns out parents, we've connected over that actually like, oh man, you want your kids to connect with other real human beings and have uh, real relationships. But the data is emerging, in, in, especially among my mental health colleagues across the country. Social media is destroying our children. And I can't say it any more emphatically. It's destroying our children. I know that we think we are helping them by giving them these digital babysitters and saying, you connect with your friends and this is helpful. It is not, George. Mm. And it's creating this all universe, these false realities. It's hacking our our internal um, neurochemicals and our, our, our fight or flight responses. It's just destroying children. And it's not helping adults either. Here's the sucky part, George. I never had it until I got it for this job. And then I find myself, like my kids are saying, Dad, you want to come play? I'm like, hold on, kids. And I'm scrolling through this thing. And I thought, oh, no. Yeah. I'm an addict too now, right? It's a vortex. So yeah. what are some exa- – what are some, some um, I don't know, some things you would recommend to millennials to old- – now, I mean, I'm you know, Facebook's taken over for adults too, 67. It's when my, my grandfather, who's still alive, he's in his 90s, when he friended me on Facebook in college, I remember thinking, I'm done here. Like, I remember this process <laughs> for me. Um, what, yeah. do you, what, do you, what do you recommend to folks to get off this stuff and to reconnect with human beings? One of the biggest things I found is uh, to remind yourself that you have control of who you follow. Nope. No, you don't, George. You can control that, they John. Just send an unfollow me. button. They send me, you know what? The algorithm? We've put Who's you through they? our computers, whoever they is. We think you'll like these people. And they're usually right. Yeah. Well, you've been advertised for you know supplements and things. Like, hey, John, you could be stronger and more tan and all these different things. And one of the keys that I found I that I could ever get more tan, George. is you've got to get away from the comparisons. That's where a lot of this anxiety, stress, mental health illness is coming from because you're going, I'm not there yet. Yeah. How come all my friends, how come all these people are living lives so much better than mine? My life sucks. Yeah. You've got to take a step back, maybe delete the app for a little bit and get back to reality. And so when you just said delete the app, millions of people's eyes rolled in the back of their heads. I'm not they doing went, it, John. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Here's my challenge. Take social media off your phones for a week. Take them away from your kids for Try a week. Try for a day. I bet they couldn't do that. That's, That's right, for a day. And I want you and your kids, this can be crazy. I want you all to talk to one another. I want you to interact with each other. I want you to look at your spouse and say, hi, uh, how are you? Try that and see what happens.